Jack Armstrong, Jack Armstrong, Jack Armstrong, the all-American boy. Jack and his companions find their way into the tunnels where the Grotto Laboratory is located. Learning of this, Professor Zorn plans to trap them. And now, as our party is horrified to realize that it's taken refuge in the resting place of the ponderous aero globe, Hey, look! Mr. Hardy! Look down. Quick, flatten yourselves against the wall. Well, Professor, I suppose Jack Armstrong and the Fairfield's been well taken care of. There's no doubt about it. I'll just look around to make sure. All right, come out of there and keep your hands off that gun. You can cover it, Jackman. I'll go find out what we're to do with him. Talking. What is it, Zorn? We captured Jack Armstrong and his friends in the tunnel. What shall we do with them? Dispose of them immediately. Very well. You heard the order. Radio message from Paris. As soon as I finish this little job. No, come back at once. Pierce just radioed that his ship is arriving. When you finished your job, report to Groot. Right. Could they? There's the answer. Which way they go? I don't know.
Groot. Gregory Pierce, welcome to the island. Is everything under control? Moving on schedule. How was your trip? Oh, uneventful. Did you bring everything we ordered? Here's the manifest of our cargo. It also includes everything necessary to complete the cosmic beam annihilator. Splendid. Within a week, the world will know it has a new ruler. I also brought those special bombs you requested, although I had a hard time obtaining them. We may need them to pull another magic trick on the natives. And by the way, have my friends been giving you any trouble? Quite a bit. But we have them trapped in the tunnel at present. Blair is just taking care of them. I'd hope to avoid bloodshed. Hello, Pierce. Hello, Blair. You don't seem to be bringing good news, Blair. Jackman let Armstrong and the Fairfields escape. <laughs> Well, what's so funny? I don't believe you'll be having any trouble, that little group. That's what you think. You better have Exalta order the natives to handle them. No, they botched the job once. We'll find another way. Do you have to resort to violence? Jack Armstrong and the Fairfield still think that you were their friend. Maybe you can do something. I'll be glad to handle the assignment, provided I can do it my own way. It's all yours, Pierce, starting right now. What'll you do, frighten them off by saying boo? Just let me work it out. Well, we'll be watching you. These coconuts sure taste good, don't they, Betty? They sure do. I'd rather have them shredded on top of a cake. How about a coconut custard pie? Well, maybe yes and maybe no. It all depends. Now, it was one of my mother's homemade. I'm sure sleepy. We all need sleep. Coming, Jack? I'll be right along. What do you want? Princess Allura wants you alone. Why do you bring your knife? Soon we're afraid white fellow. What does the princess want? See you come. She tell much. Princess give ring, him fellow see. Yes, that's the ring she was wearing, all right. See you come? Yes, lead the way. afraid of, Naga, that you lose your place with the princess? She becomes suspicious more each day. I have helped you so far, there is no turning back for me. Have you told the princess anything about our work? You know I cannot. I do not know what your work is. Hmm. Except that you will be repaid. Well repaid. I'll make you the ruler of a thousand islands. I look eagerly to that day. You studied among white men. And you know how cruel they can be when they have the power to rule. One day, I am going to give you that power. But now, what will you do now about the princess's suspicions? What can I do? I leave that to your god, Exalta. When he sees fit, he will speak. Calm your fears, Naka. Have faith in the clever mind of the white man. Look, Miana, as beautiful as a crescent moon in the heavens, princess. <laughs> Where was the princess going, Mayana? She did not tell me, Naga. Where did she go? Where did she go? To meet young white man. Where? 
at river below waterfall. You sent for me, princess? Yes, to ask a favor. What is it? Once here on the island, all was peace. Yamela's people and mine were united. Then the white men came, and all was changed. That's because they were evil white men, princess. Yet it was only when you and your people came that men were killed. We came because a friend was brought here a prisoner. How do you know he is here? Have you seen him? No, but we're positive he's on this island somewhere. I want you and your companions to leave the island at once. We can't leave until we find our friend. Besides, we have to stay here until a ship arrives. Today, a ship did arrive. What kind of a ship? A large one. They carried many things from it to that strange building up the river. What building? Where is it? Where the trail crosses the river. Strange sound and much smoke come from it. Those men. Why did you do it, Naga? You sent for him to meet you here. For what reason, Princess? What makes you think I did? Your maid, Mayana, told me. Some of your people do not favor your friendship with these white men. What did you tell him? Nothing. This isn't the way to camp, Jack. I know it. But Alora told me about a strange building up the river. I think we'd better look it over. All right. Looking place. What do you think it is? Possibly a stamp mill or a place where they process minerals. Seems deserted. The men are probably up the trading post. Let's look around. Armstrong, Jim Fairfield. By thunder, I am glad to see you two. Gregory Pierce. Well, what in the world are you doing down here? I was worried when I didn't get a message saying you had landed safely. So I chartered a boat and came in search of you. We appreciate that, Pierce, but how'd you hit on this particular island? Well, I knew your general course, so I just followed it from island to island. This is the fourth one I've been on. But this is a long way inland. How did you get up here? Well, they were loading some things off the boat to be sent up here. So I came along for the ride. By the way, how is everything? Where are Betty and Billy? Well, that's a long story. Right now, we want to send a radiogram to the mainland. Well, I think I can arrange it. You just wait here. That's Jack Armstrong and Jim Fairfield. When I call you, I want you to take them in the storeroom and lock them in. Then what? That's all. There's going to be no rough stuff. Investigation should be made at once. End of message. Is that covered? Yes, that ought to bring them here fast. 
The operator's returned to the ship, but I'll have him send this as soon as I get back aboard. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Yes, there is. Could you spare some arms and ammunition? You having trouble with the natives? Oh, that's putting it mildly. Well, did you get in touch with Grood, the traitor, and ask him to help you? We were suspicion he's the one that set the natives against us. And he's holding Vic Hardy prisoner. Oh, I can't believe that. Of course, I only met him this afternoon, and he seemed like a decent sort. However, if you want some arms and ammunition, there's plenty in the storeroom. Fine. Slade! Slade! I'll have him take you up there. Yes, sir. Take Mr. Armstrong and Mr. Fairfield up to the storeroom and give them anything they want. All right. Right this way, gentlemen. Thank you. You're welcome. you're looking for, you'll find them in one of those crates over there. But I haven't got any idea which one. You two fellas give them a going over and I'll take a gander at these. Right. <laughs> this box is marked shoe polish. <laughs> That's a hot one. What are the natives going to use it for? They don't wear shoes. Hey, Slade, where you going? I wonder why he ran out on us. I don't know, but we'd better find out. Well, this door's locked. Slade, Pierce! Look, that smoke. We've got to get out of here. Let's find something to break the door down with. What is the meaning of this vicious attack on Gregory Pierce? Does this indicate another hostile move on the part of the natives? For the answers, see Cavern of Chance, Chapter 7 of Jack Armstrong, the All-American Boy, at this theater next week.